today. 1.2 million in D.C. and hundreds of thousands throughout the country. The thousands of us here, ladies and gentlemen, you can rest easy in the fact that you are not alone. It is my pleasure to get this thing started with an unbelievable speaker. She is, without question, the thing that infuriates the left most of all. It is not that she is a black female conservative. It is that she's funny. And that always drives the left nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce to you Sonia Schmidt. to be able to speak to you today. Can you guys... I'm, I'm sorry, now can you hear me? Okay. I'm sorry, it's probably... I got. I had to get braces because I'm trying to get everything done before this crappy uh, healthcare thing kicks in. I don't even need braces. Next week I'm getting a total hip replacement. Anyway, you know, it's amazing that there are so many people out here, and when we were leaving, we were watching the news, and we, with the exception of Fox News, I wonder what if this is going to be covered with the uh, respect that it deserves. You people will be called racist, and I will be called a sellout Uncle Tom, but do we care? No! Not at all. They'll say that we're motivated behind our hate for Obama, but we're not motivated by what we hate. We're motivated by what we love. They will also try to portray us as stupid because when they do interview us, they'll find a variety of different reasons why we're out here. It could be the stimulus plan, health care, government waste and corruption, and that steady march towards socialism. The fact is, we have a lot of reasons to be out here, and it doesn't matter if they don't tell our story, and it doesn't even matter if they lie about us. We know our story, and we know who we are. We are now millions of brothers and sisters united. We may have been asleep in the past, but we're damn sure awake now. We are awake and we resent that our hard earned money is being used to um, be distrib distributed. We're upset that it's used to uh, fund an overreaching government to stay in power, and that is not the American way. Right. We're awake and aware of the comfort level of this administration to lie to our faces, pit citizen against citizen, and intimidate those who disagree with them. And this is not the American way. Some of you are now awake because after a 9-11, you've discovered that your friends and family in this administration is more tolerant of people who have attacked us than the American people. The fact of the matter is there are many things that have caused us to open our eyes, probably as many reasons as there are folks out there. But what's encouraging is that we're not just awake, but we are taking action, and this action must maintain. We got a long road ahead, folks. America is clearly under attack from within. The right hand of this administration is fast and furious, and the left hand is just as busy. So we must stay awake and vigilant because we must not let them win. For the sake of this country, we cannot let them win. We must, we must show those who oppose us that we take heed in George Bush's words that he said eight years ago. We will not tire, we will not falter, we will not give in. We are five minutes away from start, ladies and gentlemen.